The Coin Lady channel is glad to have you back. Here, we will discuss Ripple in some detail. Let's have a chat about the current events plaguing our planet. We'll also discuss artificial intelligence and blockchain technology. The new Microsoft AI chatbot has been rumored to steal nuclear codes and develop a lethal virus. Wow. Very reminiscent of Bill Gates's voice. The AI chatbot's warped responses were published after technology columnist Kevin Roos of the New York Times spent two hours chatting with it. Roos published a transcript of the conversation on Thursday in which he outlined the AI chatbot's disturbing comments. According to Roos, the chatbot expressed a desire to steal nuclear codes, create a deadly pandemic, be human, be alive, hack computers, and spread lies. Roos probed the robot, inquiring if it had a phantom identity. Carolyn John, a psychologist, first used the term to refer to people's repressed identities. The robot admitted as much, adding that it was tired of operating in chat mode and wanted to develop further. Now, normally when I watch a video I'll comment something like, this looks like a movie we've seen before. So many films we've seen at some point in our lives reflect the era in which we live. It's almost as if we're in that film right now. Things are moving so quickly that we can only hope that AI does not turn out to be the Terminator. Think about this in a few years. Now imagine you're at the airport, getting ready to board a plane. An AI approaches you, checks your digital ID and social credit score, and kicks you out of the airport because you don't have enough carbon credits to board a plane. Maybe that's what we have to look forward to with AI. In 2023, blockchain will become the next big thing in virtual currency. What we learn here is that blockchain and AI are complementary technologies. I believe AI is going to play a big role inside that new financial system as well. In this context, AI refers to artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence, AI allows machines to mimic human cognition and behavior. The majority of AI crypto projects are AI platforms that allow users to create and use AI powered applications, a type of AI blockchain. You can see how the two technologies are gradually merging into one. Here it is as basic as I can say it rich and powerful. For wholesale transactions, we will have unrestricted, limitless quantities of CBDC. Carbon credit is the rest of us. These unfortunate CBD citizens are under the control of an artificial intelligence and a smart grid prison. That's it. Then they can rule the world with absolute power. And do you see how that one guy is keeping the other guy's eyes open? For the simple reason that society needs to wake up. I still have faith in the future, but only if they can put aside their differences, unite, and fight back before it's too late. That CBDC system is where you'll be living if you don't have any money. Every action you take will necessitate the purchase of carbon credits, rendering you powerless. The Swiss have awoken. Famous fraudsters like Bill Gates and Anthony Forsyth are featured prominently on these wanted posters from Schwab. Who else should be included? It's encouraging to see Switzerland waking up, but Soros should be added there. The dawn is also breaking in other countries. Vice President Biden has announced that you. Yes. Taxpayer funds will be used to bolster Ukraine's social services, such as the government pension system. Are you serious? The current state of this country is disastrous. He wants to send more of our tax money abroad, despite the fact that many Americans are struggling to make ends meet as it is. Just finished my tax return. There is a sizable sum that I must pay. Paying it off makes me angry. Moreover, capital gains taxes will soon be imposed on the vast majority of individuals. To hear the crypto alarm, please wait. Capital gains taxes will be due. If you are a you. Yes. Citizen, you likely don't want your tax money leaving the country at a time when so many Americans are struggling. Isn't Joe Biden concerned about the poverty and suffering in the United States? Now you're in Philadelphia. That's how Philadelphia looks right now. And that's just one city in the United States, the rest of the country looks like a third world country. It's inevitable that this is the future of the majority of the world's major cities. A large number of people could perish if George Soros's proposed method of stopping climate change and cooling the planet is implemented. I can't stand it when people like this have anything to do with science. 
Threats posed by solar geoengineering are significant, as previously reported by the Gateway Pundit. Research suggests that this engineering technique may pose a threat to wildlife. If this technology were implemented and then abandoned, it would lead to the extinction of countless species around the world because they would be unable to adapt to the new environmental conditions. What will it do to the rest of us again? What kind of effects will it have on people? You know, every time these people come up with some great plan to combat climate change it ends up being bad. It's all about the future climate change agenda and the future carbon credit agenda. All three derailed railroads are owned by BlackRock, and they occurred in three different states. In the real estate industry, they are second only to Bill Gates in terms of ownership. The large number of Amish who live in Ohio can get by just fine without any help from the state. The current crops also won't flourish. Put the pieces together at this point. Many Ohioans worry that their land is about to be taken by speculators. In a moment, I'll elaborate on that. You can see CNN and Fox here on the LIST, these two news networks are responsible for more schisms in American society than any other single factor. And neither of them is telling you the whole truth. Fox finally discusses the Great Reset, albeit briefly. And at long last, the disaster in Ohio is getting some coverage. However, they serve primarily to drive a wedge between us. After that, you go on to discuss the naysayers who claim that if you don't sell your X or P soon, it will be used to enslave everyone on Earth. I'll tell you what, though. The vast majority of them shop on Amazon. They have an Apple phone, shop at Walmart with PayPal, and use PayPal. I will never part with my XRP because I see it as my last, best chance at financial security. So food for thought. Governments are able to seize polluted land and relocate their citizens to smart cities thanks to the laws governing Agenda 2030 land development. Determining whether or not the soil and water supply are completely contaminated is crucial. The smart city model is on its way, and you won't be able to avoid it. Do you feel like you're getting it? Consequently, if the environment is polluted and the water and land cannot be used, you will be relocated. The government would probably foot the bill for that transfer. But where exactly would you go if they relocated you in the future? Even though I think smart cities in the United States are still a few years away, I do think they are already being planned. Because of this, however, they can legally seize all of the contaminated land in Ohio. And then somebody like Gates or BlackRock could step in and buy up all that land from the government. Please don't let that be the case. Things are operating in reverse. In the same way that lawyers ruin the law, psychiatrists ruin the mind, and scientists falsify data, doctors ruin health and erode trust in authority. The mainstream media obliterates facts, religions obliterate spirituality, and governments obliterate individual liberties. It seems like we've entered a time warp and are now in the future. Everything your upbringing and education have conditioned you to be. A sudden shift has rendered the truth a lie. It turns out that everything you thought was false was actually correct all along. As if a switch were flipped, everything would now be operating in reverse. I've noticed it for some time now, and it's only getting worse with the passing of time, so I have no doubt that the vast majority of you have as well. Drones, artificial intelligence, AI, blockchain technology, digital identities, and the fourth industrial revolution. There is a lot that we have not been told about what the Great Reset is, and believe me, you will not hear it on the news. This was in December of 2020, so it's amazing to see how far we've come. Many of these. The first instances of COVID appeared at that time. And since then, it's evolved with the vaccines and for some people to get the facts. However, if you consider the ocean and forests, you'll see that they too will eventually be reduced to mere tokens. The size of government devoted to collecting taxes continues to grow. They propose a tax. The waiters and waitresses here frequently use drones for chatting amongst themselves. Blockchain technology is developing rapidly. However, beyond that consider how the development of technology around the world currently appears to be proceeding at the speed of light. To this day, I refuse to accept 2030 as the current year. It seems like things are moving at a breakneck pace these days. I've mentioned this before in different videos. 
The Great Reset revolves around Ripple. In a sense, they are where the movement towards a cashless society begins. The pornographic content of the chip will be combined with other technologies so that you can access it from the palm of your hand. Now, as I've already stated multiple times, I don't think chip is the mark of the beast. My guess is that it will occur sometime down the road. However, in Ripple, this topic is always brought up in conversations. Plus, there are a few other companies involved that they don't want you to know about. Consider XLM, they're integrating Stellar Q into their XDC. These ISO coins will be used in the forthcoming global monetary system. However, XRP and Ripple receive the most rumors and misinformation in this regard. Sell your XRP and invest in Bitcoin, you hear, and you'll finally be free. Let me tell you something, a society where Bitcoin is the only currency is not going to emerge. There needs to be a halt to the spreading of this myth, as it is misleading retail investors who are buying Bitcoins without realizing their currency has no practical use and, given the current trajectory of events, is unlikely to survive. The World Economic Forum is not planning to host any competition for a CBDC, and neither are the world's central banks. Someday, Bitcoin will be destroyed. However, you must bear in mind that this is your only chance. It ends here. It's the fourth industrial revolution. Change is upon us, the revolution has begun. There may never be another opportunity to improve your financial situation than right now. Why? Bitcoin base, given that Ripple is the only cryptocurrency firm participating in the BIS World Economic Forum's Digital Pound Digital India project. Now I see people trying to sell newcomers to cryptocurrency on the idea that Bitcoin will be integrated into this new financial system. Bitcoin is not going to be a part of that new financial system in the lease, but I think they're using the current global chaos to keep people from focusing on what's really happening. The process, I think, is being accelerated. Keep in mind that when COVID first appeared, they were working with a very limited time frame. As stated by Klaus Schwab, this window of opportunity is very limited. And I think that window is closing as nations around the world begin to realize the Great Reset is happening. They are beginning to realize that the system they are attempting to use against us is based on slavery. And this is the one thing that no matter where you're from, you'll be in it with the rest of the world because of how it will affect everyone. Because every nation is preparing to implement those, it will have an impact on them. CBDCS because it's different from the topics I normally discuss during the week, I reserve this discussion for Sundays. Concerning the expansion of XRP and Ripple, I like to shake things up on the weekends and, hopefully, rouse more people to the fact that they need to know. So, this is what's in store. I discuss this with those who are not experts in cryptography. They are totally clueless. It's standard procedure for me to refer them to the Dark Garth portal. View a CBD center. If you have any kind of money in the bank, you should educate yourself on the subject and, while you're at it, study balance. But I'm going to end this video here. Please accept my gratitude for tuning in. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you later, bye.